hair and scalp through a lot, which can lead to dryness, flakiness, and product buildup. So today, I'm gonna be trying out the Kristen S Scalp Detoxifying Bubble Mask, which claims to instantly remove any dead skin, oil, product buildup, or debris from the scalp, which is gross. We're gonna check in on my scalp right now with a microscope first to see what we're working with, test out the bubble mask, and then check back in in a few days to see how long the results actually last. We finally found a dry patch. This is what my scalp looks like, I feel like 90% of the time. Oh my God, wait, there's so much here. <gasps> oh my God. <gasps> oh my God, that one scared me. This is a freaking horror movie. This is so scary. It's so obvious that my problem area is all right here, probably for a lot of reasons. I do pull my hair back a lot. Hello, my traction alopecia. The instructions say that this is a pre-shampoo scalp treatment, so you do it before you shower. You're supposed to section your hair, shake the mask up real good, and then start applying it directly to your scalp. It is so cold. Oh my God. It's like freezing cold. It kind of feels, <laughs> this is gonna sound insane. It kind of feels like you put pop rocks on your head. Like you can feel the bubbles popping and fizzing on your scalp and it feels good. Oh, oh no. That sounds like a, a sizzling chicken breast, if you ask me. <laughs> my hair's not the easiest to section, so I'm just kind of working it in with my fingers. My scalp feels sufficiently covered. All the bubbles are starting to disappear, and it honestly feels really, really nice and cooling on my scalp. So now I just have to let it sit for three minutes, and the instructions say I can go into the shower and wash it all out with shampoo and conditioner. My scalp is actually feeling really clean after rinsing out the bubble mask, so let's see what it looks like under the microscope. This area does look a lot better than it did beforehand. You still see some of the dryness, but I feel like the bubble mask really helped with lifting all of this dead skin and dandruff from my actual scalp. So when I did rinse it and wash it with shampoo, it all just kind of came off. But I'm gonna check in three to four days from now, which is usually when I wash my hair to see if that dry, itchy feeling or any flakes have come back. It's been four days, but before I give you guys my final thoughts on the scalp bubble mask, let's see how my scalp is looking. It still looks pretty good, definitely not as bad as it looked before I dried out the bubble mask, which is a good thing. I'm also not very flaky. I feel like normally at this point in time, I'm super itchy and then I scratch and then I get flakier, but I'm not seeing very many flakes at all. It's hard to give a definitive, this totally works on a product like this, which you're supposed to use over a period of time. But I think for only trying it once, it did ease some of the problems that I have with my scalp. The one thing I really don't love about it is the very strong scent. But other than that, I do think that it's fun to use and it feels good on the scalp. 